All right, guys, here we are with finally making the beef heart formula. Uh, welcome to my home. Uh, this time we're doing it here because I've got all the proper uh, tools to do this beef heart here at the house rather than the hatchery, and it's a lot more quiet so I can get more explicit into what needs to be done. We're gonna be using a whole cow heart, and we have one here for you, for you to see how it comes naturally, how you need to clean it. Uh, to that, we're gonna be adding, and by the way, we weighed it, it's two and a half pounds. Uh, with all the fat on it. We're gonna be using 10 ounces of spinach. We're gonna be using about eight cloves of garlic. Um, we're gonna be using six ounces of krill meal and six multivitamins. And the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna show you the heart, the way that it comes. And uh, the fact that you can't use all this fat. All of this is just waste by, uh, product. The fish will not eat this and it'll only spoil your water. So basically we have to become butchers and knock all this fat off. And we're not gonna go through this too much, but we're gonna come right back after it's all nice and clean and show you what's left and how much we threw away. Uh, and the idea is for you guys to know how to make it yourself, but also realize the kind of mess you're gonna make, okay? And when your spouses or your better halves see this, you're gonna end up buying it from us anyway. So just letting you know ahead of time. All right, so we'll come right back and we'll show you what this looks like after I clean it all up. We just got done cleaning the heart and I want you guys to see that it's almost an equal amount. I mean, you've thrown away half the heart here with all this fat which can't be used. So this is the lean part that we're gonna grind now and we're gonna mix all our ingredients into. Okay, so now that we're done cleaning the beef heart which originally weighed two and a half pounds, we end up with one pound and three ounces, I believe. Um, just to show you, you're gonna end up throwing away 50% of the heart. Okay, so that's what you're gonna end up with is a pound and a half after you get done buying the two and a half pound heart. Okay, this is the part where we grind all the wet together. And when I say wet, I mean the beef heart itself. Into it we put salmon as well, fresh salmon. Everything is raw, guys. There's no cooking. There's no such thing as chefs in the Amazon River that feed the fish, so everything's raw. Um, we're gonna grind all this together first. Uh, we're gonna put the spinach, the garlic, and the beef heart. We're gonna grind it all together. We're gonna make a mixture, and then that mixture we're gonna take and put in a food processor that we will add our dry krill to, which will bind it all together. And this is how we start. Okay, now we're gonna change over to a food processor. And I'm gonna be honest with you, you try doing this in a blender and you're gonna end up burning the blender. It has to be a very powerful food processor in order to puree everything. Now we take all our wet ingredients and throw them in. To this, at this point, is where we're gonna add our mixture of the multivitamins that we uh, left in uh, water so they could break down. That's in. Now, we're gonna puree everything. You have to let this mix, because what it's doing, it's creating a paste and mixing everything all together. Once you see that rotating motion, that's when you wanna start adding your krill that we talked about and this will start to bind everything together. Now, the idea is to make this hard um, and the way that you do it is by adding krill more and more and you'll start seeing how the compound and the processor start to work harder and harder more forced and you can hear it making a mess here and this is the consistency that we want when it's nice and hard the way i see it is it's like hard poop and and here you can see it's not sticky it's already ready to rock all right, this is now all complete. 
now what we need to do is we need to bag this in freezer bags now at the hatchery what we do is we make three pound bags which we use on a daily basis but at home you're not going to use three pounds three pounds will last you a long time so my suggestion is put this in smaller ziploc bags or larger ziploc bags but make it thin so you can break off pieces because this has to be maintained frozen okay if you keep it in the refrigerator it's going to go bad on you after three or four days so basically this is the entire beef heart recipe that we ourselves make we ourselves sell and uh, our fish grow up on this stuff from the time that they start eating food regular food from brine shrimp to this and all the way through the adult lives breeding uh, the breeding pairs everybody they eat all of this and this is a very staple food for them and it's also the least expensive that you can get and if you guys get a chance to make it yourself you'll experience the beautiful mess that we made so enjoy guys all right guys this is the consistency that we want for sure um, this Okay, this is how we want it to be, kind of dryish. Now, one thing I'm going to tell you right now, the powder that we put in, the krill powder, is continuing to dry. So it's absorbing all the liquids that's in the beef heart. And if you don't hurry up and flatten this out as quickly as possible now that it's soft, by the time you come around to do it, it'll be hard, you know, rock as, as hard as a rock. So it's essential that you guys do it right away. And like I said, you know, you could put this down with a rolling pin and squeeze out as much air as possible, but make it thin. Make it thin because you want to be able to break off little pieces to be able to feed the fish. Um, people throw it in frozen. Some people, what they do, and it's actually a very good idea, break off whatever you're going to feed, put it on top of a paper towel and let it thaw. This way, whatever excess blood or um, liquid is in the uh, beef heart stays on the paper towel and doesn't go in your tank and ruin your tank okay and and basically that's it this goes strict uh, straight to the freezer and then you've got probably with one of these and if you got like four to six discus you'll have enough food to last you six or seven months now the fact that we put so much garlic into it the, car the garlic will actually preserve it and the garlic is actually very good medicinally for the discus because it coats their intestines and doesn't allow any nematodes or parasites to attach to the stomach walls. So it's actually beneficial. It's not for taste. It's medicinal. Um, and this is a very, very staple food. You've got spinach in here for roughage. You've got the beef heart. You've got the salmon. Um, basically, this is a very complex food. And you've got the multivitamins also. So you're covered on every single angle. And you should always get your discus to eat different types of foods. This way, if you ever run out of the beef heart, um, they'll eat something else while you have time to make the beef heart. And that's it. That is the beef heart recipe. All right. Make sure to also check us out on Instagram and uh, check out all our new videos. Thank you once again for joining us. It's always our pleasure to bring you more content. Okay? And keep those questions coming. All right? Take care. Thank <laughs> you.